All right, we're back with another McGee Home webisode. We're starting with our entryway and Sid's office. When I first started designing this space, there was one thing that I knew had to happen. I wanted to carry the painted white brick from the exterior of our house into our entryway, so it felt like a continuation. I just knew it was gonna bring added texture to this small space. I wanted the entryway to feel cozy and intimate, not large, so that you'd walk through this barrel arch and then be greeted by these really beautiful vaulted ceilings in our living room. When designing the exterior of the home, we have a lot of strong, clean lines, and it just was feeling a little too boxy when we had a rectangular door in. So once I saw the arch door, it seemed to kind of just soften everything. I knew I always wanted this barrel detail going under our stairs and then it's this really cool effect to have the double arch here in the entry. So you walk in and you see the arch that is mirrored in the arch on our front door and I love that view. I found this beautiful vintage console and have been keeping it in our warehouse for a very long time just for this moment. So it was perfect for this space and we added a simple round mirror, but it's really large and oversized, so it bounces light really well in this space. single entry moment that I have pinned incorporates really large greenery. So I wanted to pick things that supported the greenery. I'm all about it. I'm playing with scale here. I did like the most massive table lamp you've ever seen and I love it so much. It has this great ceramic detail and then just layered it with things that I've collected. I love a candle in entryway so it smells good when you first walk into your home. McGee entryway is complete without a beautiful vintage rug. This one fit the space perfectly. It added some color, some interest, and I love that a vintage rug, because it is old, it hides dirt really well. So perfect for everyone tracking in and out of the house. From the time I laid eyes on this schoolhouse light, I knew it was the perfect one for our entryway. I just love that it had this vintage look. I loved the dark color. When I have little wall spaces, I love to create a vignette and I usually do that by stacking a couple of pieces of artwork. I love that these old wax seals worked together, but they weren't identical. And so it created a perfect moment for a stack here. I've said a lot of things are my favorite things in this entryway, but maybe my very, very favorite thing is the door detail that we did leading into Sid's office. I had this vision of these old doors that had a reeded detail and drew them out. We had them custom made, worked to get the stain just right so it would tie in with our hardwood floors and then did an unlacquered brass hardware detail a raised panel. I just love that they add character and interest. They look beautiful closed, but you can still see into Sid's really dark and moody office, which I'll take you into next. And it's locked, so I can't. <laughs> Molding details and trim work are easily one of the best ways to elevate the feeling of your home. We worked with Matri and in Sid's office we did this paneling detail floor to ceiling. I wanted a recessed panel look so it felt more streamlined but we added this cove bead detail so that it feels more traditional. Throughout the whole home my goal was streamlined traditional and Sid wanted a moody office and I love that you 
see our white exterior, our white entryway, and then you see his office and it feels very dramatic when you first walk into our home. The color on the walls in here is called Green Black by Sherwin-Williams, and it is not green, but it is a color that kind of changes depending on the light. I didn't want to just do the walls dark, I wanted everything to be dark. So we painted the shiplap on the ceiling the same color as the walls and the built-in. The built-in was a custom design and I had this idea that we would be able to do a custom desk that is on caster. So Sid's desk actually pulls out and can swing around and then we styled it with a lot of beautiful McGee & Co accessories. Another detail that I love in his office is that we did this striped rug. I love that it has this masculine striped detail, it's a flat weave, and we did a dark sofa against the dark walls. Often you think, I did dark walls, I need to do a light sofa. I don't think that's necessarily the case, and I think it just adds to the vibe of the room to do the dark on dark look. So we look up and I wanted to do this really ultra modern fixture in here and I love that it has this great contrast against the traditional paneling. This back wall is the first thing that you see when you walk into the room and we started with this McGee & Co artwork and console and then layered it with personal touches. So this Lost Winds pennant is from Sid's favorite surf spot in San Clemente. And I love to do that, especially in offices, because I think that they tell a story of the person who lives there. Just like the sofa, I wanted to keep everything tone on tone in here and not do tons of high contrast. So I went with this mushroom linen color on the drapes and I think that it adds a little bit of a warm brown tone to the space and it's great layered with our woven shades. Both are from the shade store and we use them throughout our whole home. The one light thing we did in the space is the coffee table. We have all of these straight lines in the striped rug, on the paneling on the wall, the reed detail on the doors, but I wanted to break it up with an organic shape. So the coffee table was perfect. It's from McGee & Co. and it has this like imprint of these shells and it's imperfect and beautiful and I think it was the perfect thing to center everything in the room. We will be posting videos every single week from our home for the next I don't know how long, a couple months. <laughs> we have just barely scratched the surface, so stay tuned. You can head to our blog to find out more details, see photos and more information about paint colors and all of that good stuff in one place. And there is so much more to come, so stay tuned.